Here at Humber Bay, it can be a popular spot for swimming. And that's why in these waters and elsewhere in Toronto, enthusiasts are using sensors to gather real-time information on changing water conditions to help people from getting into trouble. Steve Hulford isn't a novice when it comes to Lake Ontario. He runs open water swim races in Toronto and is among the thousands who swim in the Great Lake. He says for some time... I've long had an itch to scratch, which is why can't we get real-time water temperature? Something vital year-round for swimming recreationally or planning competitions. What you're trying to find out is, do I need to wear a wetsuit today or do I not? And this is why uh, it, it is a danger to, you know, a lot of people who are not aware of what's going on. They may go in the lake. It could be four, five, six degrees. It can even happen on a hot summer's day, especially after a storm. We have this effect that takes place where the water will turn over. The water column and will literally flip and the bottom water will come to the top and the, the top will disperse and the water temperature can go from 20 or 23 to 4 uh, in a matter of 12 hours. If you get caught in unexpected cold water, it can impact the body. Immediately when you get into the water, like there'll be a shock. And that's, you know, your body's response to the cold water and all the blood rushes to your heart, your organs, your brain, and away from your legs and arms. So during the pandemic, Hulford and a few others began setting out buoys using technology that has become cheaper and more accessible. The devices are at Ontario Place, as well as Cherry, Woodbine, and Balmy Q beaches. In mid-June, it came to Humber Bay. Readings are pumped out online every half hour. Using your phone, you can get lots of data quickly. The water temperature sensors down down here, this is in the water. It does its readings, goes back to sleep. The battery in here can last three to four years. And we just put a chain and a, and a cinder block on it and just sits at the water level. It may look low tech, but Hulford says it can withstand harsh conditions. He says they want to expand this to Toronto Islands, Scarborough and Mississauga and build awareness. It potentially could save lives, sure. Its purpose, openwaterdata.com, is to provide a combination of water temperature data, E. coli levels, air temperature, combine it all and track it by beaches across Toronto and around the world. Regardless of the water conditions, make sure you take precautions, dress appropriately, tell people where you're going. Halford also sharing this generic advice. Stay in shallow water. No Know your skill level, know what the water temperature is, stay in the swimming boundaries, and you know, have fun and take care. To get the links to all the sensors in Toronto, we'll have those details at citynews.ca. In Toronto, Nick Westall, City News.